Toronto, Nick Faldo dominated the men's game during the late 80s and 90s, winning six major titles in total during his playing career. Now a respected broadcaster, he has also contributed to the development of junior golf with the Faldo series. He's been sharing some tips with us, and today the humble tea peg takes centre stage. All right, the good old communal garden tea peg. I can use this for a couple of tips to really check a few things in your golf swing. So number one is your takeaway. So put it, you know, a good six inches behind the ball. Now, if you've got too much weight on your left foot, which most club golfers would do, they'd find it really hard to scrape away and brush that tee peg away. So you then have to think, ah, so let me see if I need to move my weight back a touch because we want to either be, you know, we want to feel either perfectly 50-50 or even a little, you know, 55, 45%, so a little bit more on your back foot. Won't do you any harm to, feel. ah, now it's so much easier to scrape the tee peg and then keep going. When you've, when you've mastered that a few times, feel comfortable, actually scrape the tee peg, keep going on your back swing and through. And that really, I love that, that drill, so simple, because if you're smooth here and then you progressively build up the momentum, that's really important, okay? So now that I want to add to that quickly, if you can't feel that weight transference, I mean, Jack Nicholas did this every morning as his warm up, because he wanted great footwork. So just simply, look, I'm loading, feel like it's 90% over here. So put 90 there, try and turn your shoulder 90 degrees, yeah? And then throw over the other side, Put 90% on the other side. That's a great little warm up to give you some feeling of wow, that's what weight transference is all about. Right, and then another simple thing to do tee it up super high, almost driver height, and try any club in the bag, especially, especially like a tine on a very windy day, or even if you've got one of those little skinny five woods or something. You tee it up too high when it's a real blustery day, when it's blowing into you. Well, now. You've got to get super level, haven't you? You've got to be super central, super level. Because if, you come, if you're coming down on it, you hit the ball up here, you'll hit it all over the show. It's a, actually, it's a, it's a tough drill on a, on a tough day. So I used to love this because it made me really concentrate. So simple tip or a thought, think where your chin is. So if your chin is staying central over the ball and your chin is staying level, Big help, so just think of that. So nice, easy swings, get your chin on the ball and how about that, right out the middle. So if you can then middle it and a little knockdown swing, you'll get a great trajectory so it gives you confidence that, ah, I can play in the wind. 